Uh, like I said, this, uh, what I want to go through here today is just kind of a review of the photoelectric effect, but also talk about some of the main essential properties of light that um, really it's the, the type of stuff that I wish I would have had um, a lecture as a physics major to be able to prepare me for astronomy in grad school. And so these are the things that are assumed that you know when you get into grad school, but you're not taught as an undergrad in physics. And um, largely the spectra of light is, is a super important thing that, that I never really understood how important it was until I started kind of teaching it. Uh, and specifically how we use emission spectra to basically like lick everything around us in the universe. Or, or more specifically, we use it as a chemical probe the same way we use our sense of taste and, and, and uh, scent as a chemical probe of, of the world around us here. So that's, that's kind of how I think about how we use uh, atomic spectra and our, our understanding of how atoms work to be able to detect what chemicals and what elements, specifically the universe uh, has in store that in theory, if we were able to go there and physically lick them. And what we're dealing with here is how light and matter interact. And that was really kind of the, the, the key idea that told us how we, how we can interpret how atoms work by looking at the light that interacts with them. And so everything that we're viewing here, we're basing on light given off, which is really energy. And then we are translating that to our model of the electron or the, or the atom. How can that electron or atom give off that amount of energy? And that's exactly the game we play with analyzing atomic spectra. 